Everybody is talking about how we can make use of large language models and AI and AI agents to do code development and application development. But nobody is really talking about how we can make use of the LLMs or AI for doing the software testing. This tool, the test sprite, can help you with the power of the AI agent to do the software testing in much, much easier fashion. They can do a lot of different testing and that's exactly what we are going to be discussing in this particular video. So let's jump right into it. So we have already discussed about the AI agents. If you have not watched already in our Exit Automation YouTube channel, we talked about what exactly is the AI agent. So AI agent is a fully autonomous system that operates independently over extended period using various tools to accomplish the complex tasks. It can perceive, decide, and act on an environment based on the given goals. That's what is the AI agent. We also talked about what is the agentic multi-agent system, which is pretty much like the group of agent which are going to be communicating to accomplish a task. That is what this multi-agent system really does. And they can communicate, they can delegate the task, and they can coordinate the task among the agents to achieve a specific goal. And while we have all this information in place, we are now going to see how the AI agent in the software testings can be done. And this can be done with the power of this tool, the test sprite. The test sprite is an agentic multi-agent AI test agents or a collection of test agents which is going to do these operations for us. Well, the test sprite AI agent can perform a lot of different operation with the power of these agents by doing test object inspections, generate the test plans for us, create the test cases, execute the test cases, and also analyze the test results to see how exactly is the test execution happened. So you can see that all of these operations are going to be done by the army of the AI agents, which are going to be sitting in the test sprite uh, cloud, which is going to do all these operations for you. And that is the real power of this uh, whole system that we are going to be discussing today. We'll see a complete demo as well, and you'll understand how powerful they are. And the next question that you naturally get is like, what kind of test that the test sprite can actually do? Well, you can think of anything that you wanted to do the testing of your application. You can do the API testing, you can do the UI testing, you can do data testing. You can also use the test sprite to do AI agent and model testing. So all of these operations can be achieved with the power of test sprite, which is which is quite amazing. And also there are some more awesome features that you can think of in the test sprite is you can run the test in a scheduled mode. So no more manual trigger needed. You just have to schedule it and the test execution is going to happen. And also you can get the PDF report once the test execution is done, even in the email if you really wanted to, or you, may, you can just download it from the download button over there. That email PDF report or the PDF report in general is going to be so descriptive that it's going to have the entire information of how the test execution happened, what are the failure, what are the reason for the failure, and how you can even fix those issues. So all these informations are going to be there in that particular PDF file, which is amazing. And then you can also see the failure logs with the test execution details along with the trays and also what is the solution to fix this particular problem within the test sprite itself. So it's pretty much like a testing expert who is going to be sitting on the, on the cloud with all the power of this AI agent and doing all these operations for you. And most importantly, you don't even have to write a single line of code everything is going to be achieved with the power of test sprite for you. And there are some general questions that we mostly get while we use these kind of tool is that, can we use this test sprite to run in the CI CD pipeline? The answer is yes, you can export these test code which is generated by this test sprite. And then you can even check in the code in the GitHub directly, which is even more straightforward. And the next question is like, can the test sprite run uh, the local application testing? Of course, yes, even though it runs on the cloud, you can still test your local applications using the tunneling option, which is also available. And is this human in loop while the tests are being executed? Of course, yes, you are still in loop. You can use the agent chat and also you can control the test execution. You can also add more test cases if you really wanted to. Or if you want to enhance the testing, you can do all of these operations using this particular test sprite. So you still are in loop for all of these operations. Not the AI is going to take over all the job and get the job done for you. And how about the security? Because it's going to be running on the cloud of the test sprite. How exactly is it going to be maintained? Well, it is SOC 2 uh, certification compliant, which means it is highly secured. And I think they are still in the process of getting more and more. So that's all the general questions being answered, which is more common question that I always get while we use this new tools. This is already been in place. 
Well, as I said, we are going to see a quick demonstration of how this test sprite is going to work and how you can get up and running with the community edition of the test sprite, which has already given all the features that you can use in a pro level. And I'm going to show you that in this particular demonstration. All right. So now I'm in the test sprite page over here and you can see that this is the home page and they have got all the information like how the test sprite actually works and what are the capabilities that the test sprite has and what are the things that you can do with the test sprite over here. Those are the information that you have got over here. And I'm going to quickly show you how you can get started. All you have to do is just click the sign in button and then you can sign up uh, for the free edition. I'm also using the, uh, the the starter plan over here, as you can see. Thanks for sponsoring this particular plan for me, TestBright. They have given this to me. But you can use this plan for $1.19 per month and you can start using it. And you can see that the model they have got over here, right? I'm going to quickly show you how we can write a very, very super simple API test in this particular demonstration. And we talk about the UI testing in our next demonstration. But today in this demonstration, I'm just going to focus on the, the UI testing the API testing to see how it can be done. And the application that we are going to be testing this time is going to be the uh, the EA app uh, API. And the application that we are going to be testing in this particular uh, time is going to be the EA API.somi.com. So you just have to go to this particular link and you can see that this particular uh, API is actually uh, holding the authentication for you. Uh, and then you need to uh, do uh, the authentication login first and then you have to perform the rest of the control operation over here something like this so you need to call this component uh, by doing a tryout for, for instance if you just go to the uh, products over here and if you just go and do a tryout you will see that you're gonna get an unauthorized exception so first of all you need to authorize uh, you need to get the bearer tokens and then use that bearer token to do the authentication of these APIs. So you have to tell these information uh, to the test sprite while you actually uh, start doing the testing and all the test cases are going to be generated for you by the test sprite with all the power of the agents that it has got and then it will do things for you it will write the code it will run the test and also it will generate the reports everything for you you don't even have to do even a single thing you just have to import this uh, this particular api and things are going to be done for you so i'm going to go grab this api's link over here uh, and i'm going to go and i'm going to create a new test so i'm going to say uh, ui testing of ea app something like that and i'm going to hit next which is going to uh, bring me up to the location where I can add the backend test. You see that now this is the backend test. You can also uh, add the UI test by skipping the backend test over here. I'm just going to focus on the uh, the backend test over here. So I'm going to say EA uh, API tests, and this is the URL. And uh, the authentication is going to be a uh, bearer token. I'm not going to pass the key directly because that's going to be a fly in this uh, in the security system. So I'm not going to do that. Rather, I'm going to uh, ask some questions over here. Um, this is an optional information that you can give because it will automatically discover things for you. But I am going to give those optional information uh, so that it can be helpful for my tests to be generated in a more robust fashion that I'm looking for. So I'm going to say, uh, can you read the Swagger documentation and then understand how the APIs are designed in the schema? Now you should understand how to authenticate the API. And these APIs are authenticated using the authenticate uh, URL, which is this one, this endpoint. Uh, and then this is the username and password that you have to pass in. And based on the bearer token, you can authenticate all these APIs. And then perform the positive cases, negative cases, edge cases, security testing, data testing, boundary value analysis, whatever that you throw it, you can just keep on adding all those information over there. Those test cases are going to be generated for you. Look at that. That is the only thing that you have to do. That's the prompt engineering, to be honest. You just have to give all this information and things are going to happen for you. And once this is there, I'm also going to uh, include the Swagger documentation. So you see that this is the Swagger documentation of this particular API. This will help the AI agents a bit more to give a context like how the uh, how this particular schema is going to look like while it is testing them. So I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to create a PDF file or doc file or MD file, whatever file that I wanted. And then I can upload this file so that this information can be helpful for the AI agents while doing the uh, test execution and also during the test case generation. So that's what I'm going to be doing over here. So I have copied that everything in the PDF file. I'm just going to open that and I'm going to upload that file over here, which is going to be this one. I have just uploaded that particular file. I'm not showing my file system there. That's the reason why I'm not showing it. See that this is the swagger.pdf file. I have just uploaded that particular file over there. 
and then I'm going to uh, hit the next button. So basically, I'm just going to do the backend testing this time. No UI test. And I'm going to hit next over here. The moment I hit the next, you see that now the AI agents are in action. They are going to read the Swagger documentation for you, the APIs for you, grab all the information from where it has to do the testing, how to do the uh, authentication, and it generates all the test cases for you. Look at that. It has generated like 20 test cases for authentication testing, product creation testing, product retrieval testing, and there is the security testing. Uh, and once I hit next over here, you see that it's going to do all of these operations for me with a level of the priority that it has to take for these tests uh, and what these tests are going to be doing over here, something like that. And if you think that it is missing some of the test cases, you can still ask the AI agents to do it. Let's say if I'm going to say, uh, can you create um, maybe create a component as well? So I'm going to say create a component uh, successfully. Uh, and I'm just going to grab this information directly and I'm going to paste that over here. So I'm going to say test the API providing all the required field to create a component, uh, component, ensuring that it returns the success response with the correct product details. So I'm going to also tell that information over there. And if I'm not really happy, I can still keep on adding those information. I can set the priority high and then I can say, uh, can you do a boundary value analysis testing? And this, that will be added for me as well. But you can keep adding more and more tests if you think these test cases which is suggested by the AI agent is not enough for you. And once we have everything over here, I'm going to hit this next button and you will notice that the test cases are going to be generated, uh, which means that coding is going to be written for you, it's going to be running the test for you, and you see that it is happening all of this for you right now. Look at this. It is already passing all the tests for the valid login credentials, uh, invalid login credentials, empty username and password, malformed username, SQL injections in the, uh, in the credentials. So it's verifying all of these for me over here. And there are failures. I, I completely agree there are failures in the test, but you can easily fix these tests for you. So uh, you can see that before I get to this particular point, if you see the passing test over here, it is writing code in Python for me. Uh, and you can see that these are the test cases it is generating, which is amazing. But if you wanted to know if there is any failure and what is the reason for the particular failure, you can also uh, you can also go and have a look at that particular uh, issues for you uh, over here. So you see that this is the expected uh, value in the line number one and column number one, but it is failing. And there is this trace log of the reason for this particular failure. And what is the cause of the failure? and how you can fix this particular uh, error as well. So I'm just going to say, this is the fix. I'm going to go and copy paste that. I'm going to run this particular thing on the chat. So basically, there is going to be an AI agent chat, which is going to help you to regenerate the test for you and fix the test for you if there happens to be any error. So you see that now it has done all of these for you over here. I think that's still missing some of the details uh, on the product creation. Um, but let's try to run this test and see what is really going on. Look at that. Now the test has got passed for us over here. So basically, it has given me the uh, the reason for the failure as well, if there happens any. So I'm just going to copy the, the reason, the fixed reason over here. And then I'm going to paste it on the agent chat, which is this one. And then when I run that, it is going to fix that particular issue for me. And then it is going to generate the test. It's going to run the test and it's going to ensure that the test is passing. So this is how you can see that it's, it's going to fix that thing for me. And I can now uh, fix all my tests one by one. So these are the ways that we can use uh, this particular uh, AI test agent to perform this operation. And you can see that uh, this is just like one example that I have given, but there are many different examples that you can take and you can see how you can use the power of the test sprite uh, in order to test your uh, application. And now that we have seen one of the demonstration of how you can run the test and how you can see that the tests can be created, like custom tests like this one, like custom uh, component tests that I have created, it also verified by creating a test component, which is amazing. Now, once we have all these tests, we can now go to the all test option over here and we can download the report as well if you we wanted to. I think this is the one. So I'm going to just download the report. So it is going to uh, generate the report for me. 
and you will be mind blown how the report is going to be because it is not just like any report but the report is actually going to hold a lot more information look at that it is going to be an executive summary of the uh, the api test that it has done so uh, it is going to show you that it has 21 test cases it has executed and 12 test cases has passed nine has failed and this is the impact uh, in total while it is doing all this operation and it's also giving me a breakdown of the tests uh, along with the test code over here so this is the uh, test code it has executed uh, and it has failed because of this particular reason uh, and this is all happening for these 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 reason look at that so this report has already got all the information that is needed for us to do uh, the testing uh, of the application which is even more mind blowing and the next mind blowing thing which i wanted to really show you is what if I wanted to check in this entire code that it has generated? Because you see that the moment I expand it, it's going to show me all the test cases and there are failures and passing test cases, which is fine. But if I wanted to uh, check in this code for my future purpose, then I can just click this three dot. You see that we have got something called as export to GitHub. The moment I click that particular link, it is going to export everything for me in the GitHub. And there is this link over here. So basically you need to link uh, for the first time. And I have logged in uh, this particular test sprite with my GitHub account. So it is automatically linking it. And you see that now the test sprite bot is going to create those tests for me. And it is linking things for me. And you see that these are the test cases that I have got, which is which is amazing. So all these test cases that I have got over here is being checked in for me this time, which is even more better because now we have report, we have the test being checked in, and now we can run the same test directly on the CI CD pipeline so that your test is just going to run like any other test that runs on the pipeline, which is amazing. And all this code is written in the Python, so we don't really have to worry about it. So they generate the test in Python as well as in JavaScript. And what I have shown is the Python for now, right? And the last feature that I wanted to really show you is the monitoring feature. So basically, uh, you can also monitor whether test execution really happens uh, all the time without you being within the computer all the time. Rather, you schedule the test execution, run the test, and it is going to run on the prescribed time that you have defined. So you can uh, just go to the, uh, to the monitor over here, uh, create a new schedule. You can choose hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly, whatever that you want to do it. You can just do that, and then you can choose it, and then that's going to run the test for you. And you'll also get a pretty nice report once the test execution is being generated. I'm going to quickly show you how the report looks like. So if I'm just going to open my mail over here, uh, look at that. So this is the report which is which has been created by the test sprite and is going to give me all the information of the test executions over here. And you can click this view all button there. And it's going to take you directly to the test sprite and it's going to show you the information even in more detailed fashion over here. See how the execution has happened and things of that nature over here so this is this is amazing so you can do create the test cases from the end-to-end -end fashion starting from the creation of the test case to the report generations and also running in the pipeline everything the power of ai agent without writing even a single line of code that's the test sprite for you Hope you really like the tool and I'm quite excited to see these kind of tools are emerging with the AI agent powered and we have already released this AI agent courses just recently in Udemy and I can see that the potential is already mind blowing with the power of these powerful agentic multi AI agent system, which is amazing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one with the UI testing features of the test product.